Jacob Wetterling's family confronted his kidnapper and killer in court today, giving emotional, heartfelt testimony. The judge sentenced 53-year-old Danny Heinrich to 20 years in prison for receiving child pornography. After serving his time, Heinrich will be on supervised release and must register as a sex offender. That punishment is part of a plea deal in exchange for confessing and finally leading investigators to Jacob's remains. Our Jennifer Merrily was in the courtroom this morning to hear the powerful victim impact statements. Yeah, for 40 minutes, the Wetterlings talked through tears. They spoke of their pain and how the choices Danny Heinrich made on that October night in 1989 led to a lifetime of heartache. Jacob Wetterling's best friend, Aaron Larson, and brother Trevor were just kids the night Danny Heinrich kidnapped, sexually assaulted, and killed Jacob. He grabbed Jacob and then he told me to run as fast as I could into the woods or else he'd shoot. Aaron Larson said it took him 20 years to come to terms with his guilt, saying, I lived every day thinking I was the monster that night. I was the coward that left my friend. I was the coward that ran away. Trevor felt guilty because he was the one that pushed for the trio to ride their bikes to the store in St. Joseph. Trevor said, from the moment Jacob was taken, molested, and murdered, my life was never the same. In September, Heinrich confessed to killing Jacob, and he led the FBI to the boy's remains in this Painesville pasture. He testified that Jacob asked, what did I do wrong in his final moments? To that, Jacob's younger sister Carmen said, I love you, Jacob. This was not your fault, and you didn't do anything wrong. His older sister Amy said, although the gruesome details were devastating, the worst part is that for nearly 27 years, he let us believe that we would someday be able to see Jacob again. Jerry Wetterling expressed gratitude to everyone who got them to this point, including Heinrich, for showing them where Jacob was. He said, I miss all the things I didn't get to experience, laugh-filled fishing outings, pride-filled school events. Patty Wetterling relayed the magnitude of pain inflicted on her family, saying, My heart hurts for Jacob and all he went through that night. It keeps me awake at night. To Heinrich, you didn't need to kill him. He did nothing wrong. He just wanted to go home. Heinrich said he is truly sorry for his evil acts. Mr. and Mrs. Wetterling, the heinous acts, the selfishness are unforgivable for what I have taken away from you. I don't know what else to say. I'm so sorry. And Heinrich said the reason he kept this secret for so long was to spare himself and the humiliation he would bring his, to his family. He also apologized to Jared Shirel, who he kidnapped and sexually assaulted in 1989, and to other victims. The Wetterlings made it clear they will no longer think of Heinrich. Patty said they will take Jacob with us, his hopes, his dreams, his smile, his laughter, his sense of fairness, and all that is good that he stands for. Prosecutors say if Heinrich does ever get out, they will move to have him civilly committed. Frank. Well, good for the Wetterlings. We wish him the best. Mm -hmm. Thank you.